relaxing with Joel and Juanita from Howling Bells. The, of course, the album is out right now. Uh, we were speaking about films before, some R-rated films which we weren't allowed to talk about on a G-rated time slot. Um, as we look to the producer. Um, but you're saying that films have influenced this album because you do watch a lot of. Oh, hold me upside down. You do watch a lot of films on your tour bus and, and when you are on the road. Um, can you tell me how? films have influenced this album? Let me just say that when I walk into a movie or hire a DVD or anything, like, or anything kind of filmic like that, mm. I want to forget about everything else that's out there in that world. And um, in that way, that's what I want to do with our music, or we all want to do, is just take everyone away um, into another place really because essentially that's kind of what like my favorite music is that's that's what it does to me and mm -hmm. and in that sense in th that relationship that's how I see our music mm -hmm. towards films but it also influences our sound um, in that ambient filmic way as well mm. yeah. yeah is there a method to creating an album to take someone away I mean music can be used for to dance to laugh, to make love, to do all sorts of different things. Do you guys have a method, or is there any any formula you can you can use <clears throat> using organs or, or atmospheric sort of things to create this ambience or this this escapism? Uh, I think what? atmospherics in general are really really <coughs> integral to our sound and mm. the world we want to create from the artwork to the mm. website to our live performances. Um, so it is def something that is definitely intertwined. Intertwined, yeah, that's the yeah. exact word I'm looking for. I mean, we're, you know, at some point I'd love to incorporate more theatrical elements into our live set, you know, with good lights and backdrops and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, it's something that we try to convey through the music. And, mm. and um, like Joel said, to, to create a kind of escapism that you experience when you watch a film. And mm. certain kind of films do that better than others. And... For mm -hmm. us, we're all like big fans of um, like Rumblefish, which is an amazing older film, and and um, Amelie, you know, Amelie, 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 yeah, just films, films that are um, dark but beautiful. Even taxi, so, taxi Driver and Taxi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, I think, yeah, yeah. They're incredible. That they they're based in in the real world as we know it, but it's just they still manage to take interesting you away. Interesting perspectives. Yeah. yeah. And that's that's what we're interested in, something that's a little bit left of center and something that taps into what I believe everybody feels and experiences but isn't maybe as um isn't maybe that comfortable with expressing because we're not allowed to mm. um, or in tune with expressing. Right, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's an expressive element. Yeah. Mm. That was very nice. 